two, one, action. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are at the 3DR Solo Show, and this is the new app. We are going to get right into it, and hopefully you can see this app. You'll see all the little features it could do, and I am going to do a patch and update right here right with you so everybody knows this app works. I'm going to spend one minute to explain the history of 3DR Solo and why we need to do this. So let's get right into it. 3DR Solo shipped with version 6.0. 6.12, it is the original golden version. You cannot fly with that version. The only version you can fly with is 242 or beyond. So that's why people are stuck on the pre-flight uh, you don't have version 242, you have version 6. And we need to get you off 6 to 242 so we can get you flying. So we're going to get into it. We're going to show you in this video how to update and what you call patch your 3DR Solo drone and your controller to version 242, which is the last known version of the 3DR Solo and their app and their way to update it. Once they took their files offline, you are no longer able to update to version 242 to go flying. This app does it for you. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk you through an update and how we use the software and if you buy it and how you're gonna use it too to get your drone flying. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and turn the drone on and the controller. You need to know that right now I'm at the minimum you wanna be able to be at your battery. If it's 50% or low, I wouldn't even think about it. Now I've already done this patch a couple times and you can see that my drone is just above 50% and it's just enough power left to do the to update but if you've never done it before i recommend you start with a full battery don't do what i do because i'm a pro at this okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you this is already existing on 242 doesn't matter what version you're on if you're on version 242 3 3.5 or 4.0 open solo or you're on the original golden version you could use this app to force a firmware update to put you on any version that you want now again this is version 242 and we're going to go ahead and force another update which is 242 and we'll show you that if you're running 242 and you have a file and you're corrupt and you can't get it to update from the buttons then you could use this app. So basically what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to first download all the files. So we're just gonna step back a second. Let's go ahead and open my app and you'll see that you need to download the firmware files first, okay folks? Now I already download them, and but once you've downloaded them, it'll let you get to this starter page. So the only thing difference between this is the developer app that I'm using, yours is going to have step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you don't mess it up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and now that we've already downloaded, it says file successful, okay, now we have to connect to the drone and the controller. So right now we have to change my Wi-Fi and you have to connect to this 3DR Solo. Wait for it to connect. Hang on just a second. We're not done yet. And now, remember, it doesn't have internet. It's just a, like a Wi-Fi hotspot connection. Your drone and controller, your controller is like a hotspot. Your drone is like a laptop that connects to your controller. So if you update your controller first and not the drone, you're going to leave the drone behind and you won't be able to update it and you'll be in serious trouble. So remember, you're always going to update your drone before your controller. So now what we're going to do is now I'm connected. We're going to go back and we are going to pull back up the drone and you'll see now I'm ready to basically go and check the solo version and you can see now what version that I'm running, 2.42. 2.42 that the first is controller the second is the drone you can see it's 242 it's also 1.2.11 that is the Ardcopter Pixhawk firmware if this is on version 3 or 2 something that possibly means that you have a modified cube and I would check your recommendations to if this app Will work for you if this is the configuration that you see 
or it says 6.12 or 6.01, then you would proceed. So we're gonna, you either wanna take a screenshot of this or you write it down. Now I know I'm good to patch and I'm good to update. We're gonna go ahead and update the copter. You can see it right now, update the copter. So we're gonna go ahead and do the copter first. Now it says updating copter firmware. Now you're gonna see with this copter, when it's done, all my lights are gonna turn red as indicating that the patch has been successful. It takes a few minutes, folks, but you, depending on your connection, it could take 30 seconds, could take 10 minutes. It'll let you know when it's done. You should be able to hear the beep beep and all your lights will go red. Still updating, still updating. Backing out because I want you to catch all the lights turning red. There we go. So now your drone has been patched, okay? So now it's been patched successfully. Now we're gonna move over to the controller. So now you can see it's now been successfully patched. I just have to restart my drone. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off. And we're gonna turn that back on. And let that firmware do its thing, right? So now we are going to go back and we are going to, what are we gonna do? We're now gonna update the controller firmware right there, right? Here we go. You can see it's updating the controller firmware. Now, you see it saying waiting for solo? Just watch, just watch. As Soon as it's done, it's gonna go to auto update. Hang on. Takes a minute. Just don't want to miss it. Come in any second. See, there you go. So now it's completed. It says firmware update success. Controller is rebooting. And it is rebooting. And you're going to go ahead and let that do its thing. You're letting the drone do its thing. And you can see the lights are still working. Now, since I'm pretty much done with this, I'm going to go ahead and just go through a few things because we're pretty much done here. Unless you wanted to basically reset the copter to default settings. This changes your passcode and your Wi-Fi settings back to default. So if you need to do that, um, it's an easy way to do it now from the app and you don't have to do it the hard way. And the last but no means least is you bake the firmware in. Basically, that means that you're taking the 242 version and you're baking it in to your SD card. See, your SD card is something like this that's inside this unit. And you have one for the controller uh, that's also inside the drone has one and the controller has one. Now, remember, this takes about five minutes, it's saying. And this is why you want to make sure you have at least 60-70% battery. What if you need to do it again? Remember, I'm the pro here, I've already done this, I know it's gonna work, so, you know, but I've already done this now three times today, but we just want to get it done because it's really important that you understand this is now how you use the app, this is how you update them both. Now, we still have to go through the pairing, so there's a few more steps that we need to do. That's why I said I wanna go ahead and get rid of this phone here and turn it off. That way, we can focus on getting this guy paired with this controller once it's done. So let's go and we still have to wait for this to complete. Now as this is going, we can also turn this upside down and you could then look at the button and you can see right now there is no, where's my thumb? There we go. That's where the, you would see if this was, it's just ready to be uh, reset. So we're just going to have to go ahead and just let this wait. And now it says the controller is updated, right? So now we want to do one of two things. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and click this. It says A to continue. So now it says waiting for solo. Now this is what you do, guys, right? So now your controller is updated, your drone is connected and updated and you need to do what they call a patch. 
So we're going to go ahead and turn this over. Okay. And now you can see what we're doing here. And we are going to hold this pin. It's called a reset for three to five seconds. Now I'm going to back out so you can see it at the same time. I'm ready to push down 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. There you go. Now you've been paired. So now we have to hit A and B the same time to pairing. Oh, I didn't. I hit it too fast, guys, because I didn't have my fingers. So now we're going to have to do it again. No problem. Just like you, not perfect city. So we're going to do this again. Hold it down. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Now remember, I missed it, so I might have to literally do this again, folks, because remember, I was supposed to hold the A button, B down, and I couldn't do it because I have my hand holding the camera, and this was going to slide. So unfortunately, this isn't a, a failed install, but we may have to do it a second time. Now also the drone, because it was a failed pairing, matter of fact, it's kind of good that I did this because there's also... Plenty of times that you're going to have a failed pairing, and we're going to make sure that we have a successful pairing now. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. So remember, this is the, the controller is the hotspot. So you kind of want to get the hotspot going before the drone. That's why if you ask me which one you turn on first, you always want to turn your hotspot on, which is the controller. Now you can turn on your drone. And remember, you're done with the controller. There's not much more you need to do unless it was going to give you some type of error code. So what we need to do now, folks, is again, we got to be quick at this because it doesn't know, you know, gives you a window of opportunity to do whatever you need to do. And then if you don't, it will start over. So we're going to try this again. We're going to hold this down and we're going to do it for about three seconds until it changes and then I'm going to put my hands down to get it paired here there it is so now hang on folks might even miss this so we got to just put this and hold this down hold 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 boom parent in progress hold 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 let go when it says parent in progress all right so now you would think wait a minute no wait you just want to wait it's going to pair it just has to reset let it do its thing let it do its thing. There it is. So, folks, you have successfully now patched your 3DR drone. I know some of you have had this thing for 10 years, and you are finally up and running. Now, I do recommend we're going to do a quick test together because you don't have the propellers. Uh, I recommend that you do not try to do this test in an environment where you're running the propellers and you have a little bit of room around to work with, but we are going to fly this thing in a simulated mode. Before you put the propellers on and you go fly, this is what I call you just simulated land and takeoff test. We want to make sure everything works right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go fly. We're going to hold this down and now you can see it doesn't want to fly yet. Okay. Now you might end up having that code. Now you'll see you're trying to start it and it doesn't want to let you. So what you have to do, you're going to have to turn this off. I'm going to have to turn the controller off. Why? Now it could be a couple of things. You might need to calibrate it. Okay. Now I don't have the app that goes with it. Usually you can fly it without the app. As if you know, there is a HDMM right here. You can plug it into any camera or should I say any monitor and you will uh, be able to use this and see the camera. Uh, right from uh, your controller here so and I don't have my GoPro connected because you don't need it you can go fly it without a GoPro uh, I don't recommend it you can't fly it far but so what we're, what we're doing now is just gonna go ahead and wait for it to reconnect and I don't know I could have been jumping the bone I might not have had enough satellites to go flying yet which you know I'll watch this video again and I might find out that uh, that was the deal. So let's go ahead and just let it do its thing. So you can see red uh, satellites, only eight. It's connecting yet. 
So, like I said, this has the cable car, this has the Orbit, this is the 242, the last version of the 3DR Solo. So now you can tell it's ready. I can go fly. Now, there's a good chance it's going to let me go fly if everything is copathetic. So let's try it again. There we go. Now it wants me to hold the fly again. This is simulating that I'm now ready for takeoff. I'm going to hold the fly button down again. This is simulating that you're hovering now 10 to 15 feet above the ground. Okay, you're not going to touch anything. You're just going to let it run for about a minute. Again, it's just a simulated flight. We're checking to make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to be doing. No abnormal, no abnormalities. And we are good to go. And now, to finish the test, you're going to go ahead and simulate landing it, holding it down. And there you go, folks. You have successfully updated your firmware from the original golden version to 242, or you've taken your drone from 4.0 or 3.0 back to the golden version so you can utilize this version, which has the cam cable cam and the orbit. If those are the features that you're not going to use, you're not interested, then certainly you can take this up to Open Solo 4.0, but I recommend you do not fly this on the original Solex app, that if you're going to go to a higher version than this, that you need to get off the Solo app and get onto the Solex app. Now, the only reason why I tell you this is that you don't need the app to fly, but there's some settings and things that you can tweak out in either of these softwares to make your settings more sensitive or less sensitive, but that'll be up to you. So now you know that you can now run this drone safely with the original Solex version. This is now the firmware 242, but they have a last Solex version, which it's free available, still on the App Store. You can now download it with an old phone and go flying. So if you like videos like this, tell your friends and next door neighbor, there is now a patch for the 3DR Solo, and you're going to go flying. Take care. Bye-bye.